When it comes to residency interviews, post-interview communication is now specifically discouraged. This is partly because of inappropriate questions or statements by the program directors, such as, we would like to rank you highly, where will you be ranking us? This kind of question is an obvious NRMP violation. You should feel free to tell them whatever they want to hear or even report them to the NRMP after you match, if you so choose. Post-interview communication is also discouraged because of the pressure applicants feel, like they have to do something to show you they're highly interested. In internal medicine, for instance, the AAIM, the Academic Alliance for Internal Medicine, has asked all internal medicine program directors to tell applicants during the interview day that there will be no post-interview day communication required. This was meant to unburden the applicant. Of course, if one has an unanswered question after the interview day, it is allowable to contact the program and vice versa. Applicants sometimes ask about sending thank you emails, cards, or letters. I would suggest that in this day and age, cards and letters are really no longer common or even desired. You really do not have to send anything, but if you feel you must, then uh, emailing the program director or your interviewer is fine. Due to this policy, they may or may not reply though, so don't be offended. If you are emailing back the interviewer, you should make it short and comment on something discussed during the interview. Uh, that maybe would remind them of you, like a specific topic you discussed or some sort of shared interest. If you email the program director, again, keep it short and just say why they are a program of high interest. Don't lie and say that they're your number one choice if they're not. I suggest not even saying that they're in the top three programs on your list. When I hear that, my first thought is, why not number one? Just be genuine. I hope you get a lot of interviews this season. Good luck.